Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Yeah, it's kind of hot out there. I'm still uh, recovering from uh, my back being a bit torn up. Doing the old Advil, a leave, and hot pack type things. It's getting better, it's just taking a little longer than I wish. I'm trying to take it a little easier today. I'm not thinking that helping lift that tractor into the truck was good for it yesterday, so. Flashlights. I love the Magni Mag Light flashlight. Made in the United States, made out of aluminum, and God forbid somebody's really bothering you, you can, uh, you can give them a whack over the head with it. Great flashlight. I have a few of them in the hoard. I really, really like them. The only bad thing about them is if they have the OEM filament light bulb in them, they're tough on batteries. You're lucky to get two hours out of a fresh set of door cells, maybe three. Um, they're just murder. Um, with the OEM light bulb in them, this is the two battery model, this thing burns um, 700 milliamps worth of power, almost three quarters of an amp. Uh, 700 milliamps worth of current, right? Uh, almost three quarters of an amp, and uh, I mean, it's just murder. If you update such that you put an LED light bulb in it, it uses a lot less power. Um, somewhere around 25 milliamps. So 700 milliamps to 25 milliamps use a lot less current, right? And correspondingly, a lot less power. Your battery uh, consumption will... Your... <laughs> Your increase, your runtime will go from somewhere around two hours up to you, you know like thirty, forty hours by uh, by doing this little change. And what is the change? All you have to do is upgrade to the LED type light bulb. I mean, I ended up picking this up from eBay, and you can see sold by. And I got eight lamps for ten dollars and forty-two cents. So it cost me a dollar thirty-five to do this upgrade. These are um, from China, and I already have the bulb in here. And I mean, how hard is it to do? You just screw the top of the flashlight off, and I'm doing it real time. So I'll show you what it looks like. There's kind of a rubber gasket which makes it a little rubber o-ring that makes it a little hard to turn. Right, you guys can hear it coming loose. So you unscrew this piece, right? And this is what you're left with. Then you take this little retaining ring off here, right? This just unscrews right out. Take out the old light bulb, put in the LED. And once again, in this case, right, comes right out. And just screw this back in and um, Old Harvey trying to do everything one-handed, right? Just tighten that up. Not hard. And then you screw the top onto it. By the way, don't recommend dropping it. It's not good for it. You probably end up breaking the lens on the flashlight. Right, and there you go. So for a dollar thirty-five, you've just upgraded your flashlight. From a light point of view, um, this was the OEM light bulb in it. It's your typical, you know, Edison filament type light bulb. 
once again, it used 700 milliamps worth of current. And if you multiply that by three, I don't know, what is that? 2.1 watts or whatever. Um, um, and from a light point of view, it really didn't change all that much. And I, I could show you that. And let me turn these on so I can find my way back. By the way, this is um, a Dollar Tree, one dollar LED light flashlight. This is another one. You got to put batteries in them. And this is the um, this is the one from Maglite. I like the Maglite ones. They're just so much more substantial, and um, they don't like occasionally flicker out or anything. nice thing about this garage is it gets nice and uh, nice and dark this is the, um, the mag light I mean you can spin the lens in and out and tune that dark spot away that's the uh, one dollar one from the dollar store here's another one dollar one so I mean it, back to the mag light, it puts out plenty of light and you know you can kind of tune your lens in and out to get rid of that black dot in the center. There you go, now it's bright in the center. So once again it puts, puts out a good little bit of light. Walking around in the dark, eh? The only other comment I'd make about, you know, these mag light flashlights, if you got one of these um, $1 pieces of junk and you put cheap batteries in it and it corrodes and it eats the flashlight, I mean, it stinks because when you want to use it, it'll be a dead flashlight, but you're not losing much. With these mag lights, especially with the LED um, light bulb in it, it's very easy to actually go, have them go a long, long time. And the flashlight will still work. You won't get much light out of it. The LED won't put out much light. But um, when you open it up, you'll discover that the batteries are corroding in there. So um, I really, really recommend using better batteries, door cells or, or something in these something that some kind of batteries that aren't going to corrode though I've seen door cell batteries corrode also um, and for me I have a tendency to keep the batteries kind of near the flashlight not in the flashlight um, I, I have a tendency to keep these junky ones floating around the ones I get free from Harbor Freight so when I um, when I need a flashlight I grab one of those and then if like I'm gonna need a flashlight for the night, I I pop the batteries in one of these. Or if I know I'm gonna go camping, I obviously get these ready to go. Um, I try not to, you know, like put batteries in this thing and leave it in my car unless I make a mental note to myself, check it every few months to make sure that it's alive and make sure that the batteries aren't going all corroded in there especially in the car where it could get really really hot and really really cold you got to do a little maintenance on these things you gotta you know check them a few times a year right you know obviously once a quarter would be ideal um, depending how much you use it um, but yeah, I just prefer this. It's heavier. It seems to stay in the hand and all that. This just feels flimsy, junky. But once again, I don't know. $20 flashlight. $1 flashlight. You kind of get what you pay for. So anyway, there's a quick hack for you. You're able to take your um, Maglite flashlight 
have the batteries last god 20 times longer 30 times longer so in, instead of lasting once again two hours you might get yourself you know 40 50 60 hours out of a set of um um batteries if you go with the leds folks i want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subtracting <laughs> i want to thank you all for uh, watching and commenting and subscribing please remember to keep your feet down keep your heads up and please get out there and enjoy all your days bye now folks <laughs>